everybody. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy Sunday night. It is Sunday, February 25th. I see all of you coming in. Yay! Carol says she loves seeing where everyone is from. Hi, Carol, Elaine, Cynthia, Ruby. Welcome. Everybody is popping on. We've got Debbie here and Crystal, and Deb, and Amy, and Kelly from Maryland, Mary Banky's here, Lori, Deb, hi Marjean, welcome. Who's excited to stamp with me tonight? I'm going to admit that I'm just a little bit nervous tonight because, oh my gosh, I um, have a project to share with you. Hang on, I got to get my, there we go. I gotta get my iPad working. Um, I have a project to share with you tonight that I made Steve. It's a birthday card, and um, it was it's 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 some steps. I'm not gonna lie. So I thought that I better remake it. So I made another one. So that's cool because I'm gonna have two to use now. I've got the one I gave to him, and I stole back because that's what I do, right? <laughs> And then um, I made another one today just so I would have all my eggs in a row and know what I'm doing. And when we get to that, I'll tell you all about it. It's really cool. The idea came from one of my team members, Mary Stroman. Mary, thank you so much. She said, Kelly, I have a great idea with the trusty tools set. And I'm like, let's hear it. So um, I'm excited to be able to share that with you tonight. I'm also going to be sharing a... Um, an Easter card that is for my technique club. So, and I have a really cool technique to share with you. Um, somebody just asked if these are new glasses. They are not, um, Brenda, they are not new glasses, but I have two pairs. So this is the pair that I wear all the time. However, I can't see my screen on my phone from this distance with my regular glasses. I would have to be going and have my nose in the air the whole time. So I have these glasses that let me read my screen perfectly. And as soon as I turn my phone around, I put these glasses back on. And when I got new glasses a couple of years ago, I don't know when, when I got them, but I said, I need to have glasses I can do this, this, and that with, right? All the things. No, <laughs> that is not what I got. So I have two pairs of glasses. But I am up for new glasses here pretty soon. And I think my eyes have changed. So I need to go, I need to make an appointment and get that done so I can, I feel like I can't see as good. Um, right now I can see perfectly fine, but with my regular glasses. So we'll be doing some of that. While you guys are all still coming in here, who follows my blog? You guys know my blog is www.estampabove.com. Right here. And you can find all the projects that I make. Like all the projects I make that are available for the public are on my blog. And, oh, Nadine says she has the same issue with glasses. It's a real pain in the butt, right? I used to wear contacts, um, but then my eyes started getting dry because, well, I keep having birthdays. <laughs> That's what my eye doctor told me. I said, why is this happening? Well, because you keep having birthdays. He didn't say you're getting old. And I, th I laughed. I thought, oh my gosh, that is the nicest thing. That's the nicest way anybody's ever said, you're getting old. <laughs> because you keep having birthdays. And that's a good thing. Um, anyways, back to the blog. Squirrel. Do I have my little tree? I just found my little tree here. I think Nancy sent this to me. But remember, this is my little, yeah. Squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> Isn't it funny? <laughs> Sometimes he gets stuck in there. Sometimes, maybe I don't know how to run him right, but here we go. One more time. Ready? Yeah. I love him. <laughs> I have all these goofy little things in my office that make me laugh. Um, but anyways, uh, on my blog, back to my blog, um, I had a blog hop on Friday with the Totally Techniques design team. And that is a team of demonstrators from all over the world. And um, our theme was baby wipes. And oh my goodness, I love me a baby wipe technique. Um, my favorite technique for baby wipes is fall because you can put a whole bunch of um, ink refill dots on a um, baby wipe 
and you can get the fall colors and you can stamp like solid leaves in it and oh, so pretty but anyways I wanted to share with you here is one of the cards that I made see I told you I have a whole bunch of funny things remember the hands we got the tiny hands here <laughs> they're really funny too I put these on my cat Kyle one time he was laying on my bed I put two hands laying on my bed and took a picture anyways back to stamp back to stamping um this is a baby wipe technique and the cool thing about it one of my other team members one of the blessings of having a team and being part of a team is learning from each other and getting great ideas from each other and de Aquisto, i love saying her last name she shared this technique with us and while i was always aware of baby wipe technique this one uses watercolor paper our fluid 100 watercolor paper for the baby wipe technique and can i just tell you game changer complete game changer oh my gosh the color is just so smooth and easy and beautiful and all I did was swipe it across a piece of our Fluid 100 watercolor paper. So this one is Berry Burst, Flirty Flamingo, and Daffodil Delight. And then I made this one, same card, different colors, Azure Afternoon, ooh, Parakeet Party, and Daffodil Delight. Aren't those just the cutest? Yeah. And these are, these are cards to send to people who need a little... Um, good thoughts, um, thinking of you cards. Uh, maybe they're having a difficult time with something. And I found that I've been needing some of these. This is the uh, hot air balloon bundle. And this says hang in there. And then on the inside, it says just a note to lift you up with the hot air balloon. Isn't that pretty? This is in our current mini catalog. So Anyways, if you missed these, they're on my blog. You can go check them out. There's a video tutorial there that shows you all the really good tips about how I did this. And somebody just asked me about my ring, if this was, uh, what did you say, uh, aquamarine? It's actually a blue topaz. So I bought this when I went on the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip to Greece. Um, I usually try to get something that is going to be memorable and a little more that's a good way to put it um so this was kind of a little more but um i always know that i got this in greece i still have the ring from my very first incentive trip back in 2000 i don't know seven or eight or nine i don't remember um when we went to the Panama Canal, I bought a ring there too, and I still have that. I don't wear it very often, but it's very pretty, and maybe I'll wear it next week. But I try to get something that reminds me of, oh yeah, Greece, that cute little jewelry shop when we stopped in that one little coastal town, you know, all that. So that's 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 one of my things that I do. Another thing I like to get is spoon rests when I'm on vacation. And then once I accumulated enough of those, because we have parties and I need lots of them, um, in the summer. One of the things that I started accumulating was Christmas ornaments, right? Because every time you get Christmas ornaments out, you're like, oh, remember when we were in Alaska? So yeah, that's fun. So I like to kind of commemorate my travel with things that are nothing, well, this was, but mostly nothing too expensive, um, but just things that make me reminded. And I know that I will come upon them, not frequently, but at least once a year, right? Christmas ornaments once a year. So Enough about all that. How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, somebody commented on the picture that I shared of Val and Dawson. Aren't they growing up so fast? Like, oh, it's so fast. But they are so stinking cute. If you're friends with me on Facebook, on my personal profile, I shared a little video of Val talking about the Pocky porn in the bingo game that we play when I go over there. And um, just so if anybody doesn't know what a pocky porn is, it is a porky pine. <laughs> and she said it and I caught it in a video. She goes, and this is a pocky porn. <laughs> that is so cute. You have to go watch it, it's, it's hysterical. All right, so I told you what we're gonna make tonight. Um, I want to give away prizes, right? Um, who else just said they get ornaments for souvenirs? Yeah, it's just something that it makes you remember that time, right? If it's not a good trip, then I wouldn't want to remember it. I don't think I've had a really bad trip. 
Um, I do remember when I went to Italy and I got my wallet stolen out of my purse. That was not a fond memory, but the rest of the trip was fabulous. So <laughs> you just always have to look on the bright side, right? Yeah. Okay, I have prizes to give away. First of all, um, who has a blue topaz also? Uh, somebody just said, oh, Patsy does. I know. Um, it's a real different color of ring for me, but um, I, I, I loved it. You guys, if anybody missed it, yeah, it's very, very pretty. It's probably pretty dirty too, but I wear it like every day. So it's been a good ring for me. Um, and Judy does magnets. My friend Barb does magnets. She's got magnets from every place she's been. And sometimes when Dina and I are on our way to visit, and we stop in some of the towns on the way out to Wyoming, we will get her a magnet. Yeah, we do that. <laughs> because we take flat barb with us. You guys know what that's all about, right? So, um, <clears throat> Kelly, I love the idea. Yeah, Carol, spoon rests. Um, when we have summer parties, we have all the crock pots and all the dishes and all the things. So I need a lot of spoon rests. And um, it's fun to look at all the different ones. So, yeah. Okay, prizes. Whew. Let's get back. Let's get back. There we go again. We're going to, um, we have a little pavilion outside that we built a couple years ago um, off the side of our pool. And at some point, we're going to be turning that into like a little tiki bar. And so that will be my next thing is shot glasses because that's fun. And I like to pick up decorations from various places. Like I have this surfboard that's from Honduras. And it has um, a bottle opener in the middle of it. So you hang it on the wall, you know, uh, very stably on the wall. And you can open bottles with it. So that, another great idea, right? Okay. Pastel adhesive back sequins. Yay. Ah. Oh, somebody said I'm frozen. Okay. Hang tight. I don't. Okay. I was frozen for a moment. But now I seem to be back, right? Okay. Good. Thank you, Margaret. Um, I'm giving away pastel adhesive back sequins, and these are, oh, I don't know what I was going to say. These are for commenting on my live from last Sunday. So um, Mary Wagner from Ponce, I don't know if I'm saying that right, because it looks like a French word, Ponce Inlet, Ponce Inlet, Florida. Mary, you're the winner. You have some happy mail coming your way. And I do have your address, so you don't need to send it to me. Thank you very much. Great. My voice is delayed. Urgh. You guys, there's absolutely nothing I can do about that. So I apologize, but we're going to keep moving forward. I'm going to turn off my... I've got my TV on with the fireplace in the background, but you guys can't even see it, so it doesn't matter. All right. Thank you. Who just said that? Mary said we have 405 people watching. Give me a thumbs up. If everybody could click on that like button, that thumbs up button, that really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Okay, next up for sharing my video. There's a button on your screen right now where you can share this video. Share it any place you want. I, I don't know if it offers Instagram. I know it offers Facebook. But share the video and you will get entered. <laughs> Beth says I look like a kung fu movie because the words aren't coming with the mouth. As soon as I turn my camera around, it'll be better because you won't be able to see my mouth. So just bear with me, everybody, <laughs> for sharing my video from last week. Okay, everything's okay, Carol says. I have, oh, you guys are going to be excited about this. I have Snowfall Accent Puff Paint. I found this in my box, in my um, closet. And I was thinking, oh, I should wait until, you know, around more wintry next year to give this away. But... This would make some cute bunny rabbits, not going to lie. Bunny tails, that would be super cute. We don't sell this anymore. It's Snowfall Accent Puff Paint. And to go along with that, I have some soft sea foam ribbon. thought this would be perfect for Easter right now, right? Yeah, woohoo. Okay, so um, who wins this? Karen Drain. Karen from Erie, Michigan, this is yours. You're going to have some happy mail coming your way. Congratulations. And last but never least for um, placing an order with me in last week. I'm going to get this out of here so you guys can actually see it. I know I've shown this on here before, but we're going to look at it again. 
And just know that my winner, I've taken this out and turned it around so everybody could see it. That's what I did. So I did not use these. These excellent eggs dies were donated by Priscilla. Thank you so much, Priscilla. She is on my team. She got an extra set and donated them to us to give away. So these are going out to Diane Christie. Um, I can't say the name of her town because it's a really long word, but she's from Maryland. And Diane, you're going to love these. They're so much fun. We're going to be using them tonight. So I'm going to give you some great ideas and show you the other cards that we have made with the excellent eggs. And Diane is winning this for placing an order with me between last Sunday and this Sunday. Now, don't forget when you're using that host code that I have, and it's on my blog, um, with the free card kit graphic, you get a free card kit from me when your order is over $35. So um, my card kit uses the excellent eggs, which is super fun. And yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with it. I love it. So let me move all these prizes over here so I don't get confused or lose them in the crafter math that is about to happen, right? Because we are messy, messy, messy people. Oh, I just looked at my desk over here. I have a big packet from my tax people. My accountant, getting ready to work on those babies, did just a little bit uh, yesterday. So I'm a little, I'm gonna go like this. I'm a little proud of myself because that is one of my dreaded things. Just the time it takes to do that is insane. Um, Lee says that she used to travel a lot, would buy a linen towel, and when you're in the kitchen, you remember the good times. I get towels from people or places. Like, I have a Stampin' Up! towel, and I have a towel that Sharon Kersey sends me every once in a while because Steve ruins all my nice things. And um, she'll send me a towel with a matching card, like some towel that she sees, usually like um, what cheesecloth, linen towel, yeah, those towels that she sees will remind her of a stamp set. So she'll get it and make a matching card and send it to me. And I love those. They're so cute. Okay. Is there anything else I need to talk to you about before I turn my camera around? I don't think so. Tiny hands. Love them. Somebody asked where this little squirrel came from. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I would assume probably uh, an online order, I'm thinking, is where it came from. So um, I don't even know what you would call it. Um, just do a Google search maybe for squeezable pop-up squirrel. That might help. Okay, I've got my phone plugged in. I'm going to flip you guys around. Hang tight. I've got you up on my iPad, so that is very good. Uh, where's my flippy thing? There it is. And we're going to um, do some things to get rid of the glare here on my desk. And I've got to adjust things because, oh my gosh, hang on, hang on. Oh, things aren't tightened up here. Something came loose. I don't want my video thing to be falling down. Um, we had the lavender event over the weekend the Lavender Dreams event that I've been... Oh, gosh, you guys, hang on. Things are falling down. Oh, what am I going to do? I've got a pliers. Just wait while I do some pliery stuff. My camera. Oops. Oh, my good Lord. <laughs> hang on, everybody. i got to do this with the pliers because my things are too tight. I'm not even kidding here. Don't anybody get seasick on me. Oh, and it's in a bad... Okay, I'm going to pull you down because it's in a bad location for me to get a grip on this. Sorry, everybody. Doing this one-handed. Why does it keep falling? I think I'm tightening up the wrong one. Hang on, technical difficulties. There we go. I think I got it. Oh, that's not the right one. This is the right one. I'm going to set you down for just a minute. Please be patient with me. Good grief. What is going on here? Ah. 
There we go. I just couldn't get a hold of it. Okay, is everybody still there? Woo, I think I got it. Good grief, Kelly. I wasn't kidding when I said I had to get the pliers out, right? The little knob things are super tight, so I'm not sure why that happened. I didn't move that over the weekend. But anyways, we did our um, lavender event over the weekend. The Lavender Dream Stamping Escape. Holy cow, you guys. How many of you were there for that event? I would like to see you pop in. It was magical. Okay, I'm waiting for my screen to pop up here so I can cover up any more light things that are happening. Did I get them all? Oh, I think there's probably one right here maybe. Oh, I, I got two of them. Yeah, this glass mat is fantastic for stamping on, but not necessarily for the lighting in videos, right? I got it. We'll see. Okay, anyways, let's get back to business. So my current um, card kit that is free with a minimum $35 order when you use the host code, the host code, um, you're going to get all the supplies to make one of these. I cannot stamp up images for you. That is against the rules via Stampin' Up, but you'll get the supplies to make this little Easter egg treat holder and this card and this card oh my goodness right these are super duper cute i love them am i crooked i think i am a little bit there we go so anyways i just wanted to remind everybody of that um this was another alternate card that i made this uses petal pink and this one is poppy parade and i think it was overwhelming that people really like the poppy parade better that's the one that's going to go out with the kit so um and then I happen to have another card using the cute bunny set, right? Ugh, they've got Winkasella on this little bunny. Isn't this cute? This was a swap card that I got. Absolutely love it. So let me put these back because I've got to cut kits this week for these. So you will get a kit with all three of those first three cards that I showed you when you place an order with me. We have celebration going on, you guys. We are rounding the bend. This is the last week celebration ends on Thursday. So not only do we have everything in this brochure that you can get free with a $50 or $100 order, we have the more to celebrate that you can get free with a $50 or $100 order. And when you put your order in, in the online system, it's gonna pop up and say, here are the celebration items you get to choose from. Now there's a hot pink little banner that says $50 items and it shows all the items. And then below that is a hot pink banner that says $100 items, but it doesn't show anything. You have to click on that pink banner and then the $100 items will come up. So I just wanna make sure everybody knows that. At the end of our stamping tonight, I also have a great big basket of swap cards and cards that I've made to share with you using the celebration items so you can see what people have been doing with them or I have been doing with them. We already talked about the Happy Mail Card Kit. This has been so much fun for me. It's a new program I started January 1st. So um, let's, let's say move down, please. I don't know what that means. Was it? Okay. Move the piece of vellum down a little bit. You can still see. Okay, I'll wait for my um, screen to come up. Oh, yeah. Okay. How about right here? Thank you. Um, so we have the card kits. We already talked about that. I'm going to be using this trusty tools bundle, the designer paper, and also the cork rounds tonight for the project that I talked about earlier. And... Um, we, I, I am going to be cutting kits for this this week. So if you're interested in getting the tool kit, you can get the whole enchilada. You can buy just the card kit with uh, some designer paper and the cork rounds, or you can get the PDF file. These are all fun folds in this particular class. So that's really fun. Um, and the link for that is right under this video. When you click on the more in the description of this video, click on the more you will see um, the link to the trusty tool kit online class. 
Last but not least, please don't forget about Stamp Happy Academy. This is a website that Dina, Barb, and I were all three besties. We have created this website, and right now we are adding 10 new online classes per month. That is included with basic membership plus catalog kickoff parties and special events throughout the year. That premium membership includes all of those classes plus three more live classes, one from each of us each month. This is the best stamping website in the world, hands down. I may be a little biased, but go check it out. You can go to stamphappyacademy.ning.com, get all the details and see if it's something you might enjoy. Mini catalog. Mini catalog goes until the end of April. If you do not have one of these, please let me know. I'm happy to mail it off to you. If you don't have a demonstrator, if you're new to stamping, or maybe your demonstrator isn't working anymore, I would be happy to earn your business and send you the catalogs. We also have the big annual catalog. This puppy, wow, filled with all kinds of great stuff. If you're new to stamping, I am also happy to help you figure out where to get started because sometimes that can be a little challenging, right? Please don't hesitate to contact me about that. I am happy to get you started. Okay, we are going to start with our trusty tools. Hang on a second while I change. How's my, I need to know how my, my desktop is looking. Do I have that covered, you guys? Okay. Just reading comments here. Patricia says she had a blast. Ah, um, uh, but she was tired. She ended up, oh, got him ended up with three hours of sleep. Yeah, you get your sleep before you start tackling anything. Um, Deb says Wink of Stella will be available again. I don't have any information on that, but we're watching it closely. Um, I'm sure it will be available again. I'm assuming there's just kind of probably manufacturing problems, manufacturer getting a hold of it problems right now. I don't have any insider information on that. Oh, John Report. Well, I have not personally seen John, but Steve told me about two or three days ago that, because I said, have you seen John? And he's like, yeah, why? <laughs> and he said he did see John out in the driveway. And again, there was a fishy car parked in front of John's house with people in it. And Steve said he was looking out the kitchen window and it was like four o'clock in the morning. Steve was looking out the kitchen window at this, this odd car, not that it was odd, but it's odd that it's there with people in it. And as soon as they saw him, they drove away. Hmm. That doesn't, that's a little unsettling. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it was a coincidence, but who knows? Oh, I forgot to watch for the vellum. We'll deal with that later. My desk is going to be covered mostly anyways. Okay, so that's my John report. I don't have anything more than that. I haven't seen John's brother walking that giant Mastiff dog that he has. Um, I hope that dog is okay because I really liked him. He was a really nice dog. All right, when I talked about my card being interactive, we're going to use the Trusty Toolbox Designer Series paper. This is free with an order during celebration, which ends at the end of the day Thursday. So you can get a whole pack of this paper, 12 by 12. This is the best masculine card paper ever. I'm not even kidding you. I love it. Um, the, the stamp set and the bundle, the dies, um, these are going to be like a classic for years and years to come. So that's really fun. And... <clears throat> Next, I have added in the cork rounds. We're going to use those on our card tonight. I've got Memento Black Ink and also the Gray Granite. Yeah, and Patricia says four in the morning is fishy for sure. I know, right? It was weird. That's why we were like, huh, what's going on, right? You kind of question that a little bit. Um, oh, look at how dirty it was under my glass mat. <laughs> yeah. It's been a little busy around here. We had a, a really fun event all weekend. So I'm glad that I'm here tonight. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> um, then 
I grabbed a birthday sentiment, happiest of birthdays from throughout the year. You guys, this is one of my favorite sentiment sets. It's got Easter in it, New Year, trick or treat, best of luck. You mean so much to me, Valentine, thank you, and birthday, and happy holidays. Like, good grief. You can kind of cover it all here, which is super nice, right? Then what's going to, oh, um, I've got the Wanted to Say dies here. And these are a fun set of dies that do the words, the bubble words. Let me see if I can get these out of here. So I'm going to be using the Happy Birthday. This is Happy Birthday um, Big and Little. So uh, kind of balloony, bubbly, and then the outline for it. I'll show you that in a minute. We've also got all these little elements over here, plus celebrate, a double die for that. Um, uh, enjoy, uh, what does that say? Um, enjoy, it says enjoy too kind. You're too kind, not enjoy at all. You're too kind. So we've got a double on that one. And then we've got just a thin one here on the feel better soon, which is very, very cool. I love these kinds of dies. And again, we're using the happy birthday out of this. This is called wanted to say dies. Last but not least, as far as bundles go, we're bringing in hooray for surprises. And this is where we're gonna have the interactive part of the card. I am using the zip or the pull off tab for this trusty tools card. And we're also using the pull stamp that you stamp on this to let people know they have to pull it off. So that's gonna be fun. There's a lot of steps in this card, but I think you guys are gonna agree with me when we're done that it's totally worth it. I've got the timber. 3D embossing folder here too that I thought was a little fun to work with with a man card because, well, that's pretty manly. Don't let me forget, I have a card here that was sent to me by, is it Sally? Christine Andrade. That is an interactive card and I saved opening up the interactive part. It uses the hooray for surprises um, and I saved opening it up so you guys could see how this works. Okay, let's get out our bits and pieces here. And there are quite a few. All right, here we go, here we go. There we go with that. Here comes all of our little pieces. Ah! We're gonna do our stamping first. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna move these over. Okay, I have some self-adhesive sheets here. And then um, I've got a scrap of white. I've got a piece of the ruler that is also a scrap from the trusty toolbox designer paper. Got a scrap of black, a scrap of crumb cake, and a scrap of poppy parade. I've got about a quarter inch. I just sliced a piece of this ruler off of here that's five and a quarter long. And then I've got a three quarter inch piece by five and a quarter of the screwdrivers. Get all these up here. Our basic white piece is four by five and a quarter. This poppy parade is the same size. And this crushed curry is four and a quarter by five and a half. It is actually like our card base. And then we've got this piece of designer series paper and this is four and a quarter by five and three quarters. So we're gonna do a little bit of stamping first. This is the back or what would normally be the inside layer of our card. And what I'm gonna do to this is I'm going to take these two pieces. These two pieces are gonna go on here. So I'm gonna put the screwdrivers, the three quarter inch there and then the ruler right here, and then I need to stamp my sentiment on here. So, I'm gonna stamp your most awesome. So I'm just putting those on there so I know where to stamp this at. Oh, so nice. <laughs> I love it when they're nice and crisp and they turn out really good, right? We're on a winning streak here tonight. Woo. 
Then I am going to, who said ring is a great device? Well, we just got a ring. Well, we've had one for a long time. The kids gave it to us for something, but we never installed it. And now we have it installed. And yeah, it's having a ring on your front porch is interesting. I'm just going to tell you that right away. <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to glue this together. So we have this ready to roll. Let me find my glue. But yeah, it's it's interesting who comes to your house. I can see that little smidge of light right there now that I'm paying attention. Um, and sometimes it records people walking by too, which is kind of annoying because it's got, I have the notifications on my phone and it makes a lot of noise on the phone. But it is nice knowing what's happening. Like when we were um, in Mexico a few weeks ago, Jared came over to take care of the cats. And he, as he was leaving, I actually popped on and talked to him on my front porch from Mexico. Which is so weird, right? Like, hi, Jared. And he's like, oh, hi. <laughs> kind of scared him a little bit. Isn't that fun? That's just a really nice way to decorate the inside of a card. And in this case, it's going to be the back. But same thing. Okay, here we go. So that is our greeting for the inside. Next, what we're going to do is, hang on, where did my, oh, I turned it over. <laughs> like I have a sentiment here. I have a, I have a sample. I need to see what I'm doing. <clears throat> so if you guys can't tell, I feel pretty great. Um, Steve got sick again yesterday. He said he was body aches and all stuffed up like he was coming down with a cold again. And then today he was fine. So I said, yep, welcome to my world from October until a week and a half ago or whatever it was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I, I can totally relate. All right, now we are going to, we're going to take this piece. Let me get out my little bits and pieces here that I have. Oh, um, this piece is three by four and a quarter. I thought it was a scrap, but it's not. We are going to take some of our dies now. Let me just bring these out here. We're going to use this die. We are going to use this die. Um, we're going to use this. This is a channel lock. We're going to use the pencil die the hammer die, the wrench die, the tape measure die. Yeah, look at all of these. Look at all of them. There's nuts and bolts. We've got a drill with a separate piece for the end. Um, we've got some sheer ends. Here's a channel lock end, a paint brush. Um, oh my gosh, so, so many things in here. So many things in here. This is a fabulous little set of dies. Okay, so this piece is like pegboard, right? So we are going to take that and we are gonna put it right in the middle of this layer. And you wanna make sure you do this part first. And then once you do that, you have this. And then, where did my embossing? Here's my Timber 3D embossing folder. I took this. And I put it, remember that the front of an embossing folder has the logo on it. So I just laid this face down and I lined it up with the line. I run this through my embossing machine and now I have a wood grain pegboard. Isn't that cool? I thought it was pretty cool. All right, we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it right on this layer. So let me do that. I'll just run a little bit of glue between the holes right down the middle. So we're going to center that right here. Okay. Now on the white scrap, we are going to stamp the happiest of birthdays from that throughout the year set. Yeah, Peggy says she didn't get the set thinking she wouldn't use it, but she loves the dyes. The whole thing is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Um, we just did six fun folds with that trusty tools online class and oh my gosh, 
so many different ideas. It, it's a really, really cool set, I'm, I'm telling you. Okay, so we've got that stamped. Now we're gonna take this particular die and we are going to die cut that right in the middle. And I have that done right here. Okay, so we've got that done. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take this. This is the self-adhesive sheets. I now have them sitting on my desk so I do not forget to use them. They come in six by 12. You get 12 sheets of six by 12, so it's really a lot. I cut mine all down six by six for some class that I did. And I like them being six by six because they're a little bit more manageable for me, right? So I'm gonna take this, you peel the backing off. This makes your, um, we're gonna die cut and it makes my die cut a sticker. Earlier today when I was test running this card again so I would know what I was doing, I took, where'd my dies go? Here they are. I took my paper and I put my dies on here like this and cut them all out backwards. <laughs> So that was fun. You need to use the colored side of your cardstock, not this, and you put your die face down on there. And then we're going to die cut this out of here, okay? So I am actually going to die cut this because I wanted to show you how to put that paper on the back. And I'm just gonna bring my machine in here because I'm a little excited to share with you Guess who got new plates? I haven't even used them to die cut yet. It's just, it's an exciting thing in a stamper's life. Not gonna lie, brand new plates. I just thought it was time. You need to replace these once every whenever, depends on how much you stamp, but you know, um, I die cut a lot. Margaret, they're actually, um, as far as the throughout the year, we've got happy holidays. We don't have Merry Christmas, but we do have happy holidays. So, and I get that you don't use happy holidays. I like Merry Christmas myself, but there's, you know, that's nine different stamps. So now you only have eight if you're not going to do happy holidays. Okay, it is a wonderful set though. I really like the fonts in it and I like that it has New Year's because a lot of sets don't have that. Okay, whoop, that was loud. So here we have die cut this and we're gonna pop these words out of here. And they're, they're delicate, so be careful with them. And this is what we have, it's pretty nice. I know, Patricia, new plates, clean. Pretty, I'm totally with you, girl. It's kind of exciting. I don't get new plates very often. Like, I don't even remember the last time I replaced my plates. That's how long they last, you guys. And you know how much I use my die cutting machine. It's crazy. And I use it for die cutting for classes. So lots and lots of die cutting. You get a lot of miles out of a set of plates. Okay, so I'm just poking out all the deals. The one thing I really like about this birthday is that eye is attached, so you don't have to worry about losing it. That's always kind of a pain, right? You gotta pay attention to the eye so you don't lose it. That's a lot of responsibility, <laughs> not gonna lie. Okay, get all these little, little dealios out of here. What'd you guys have for supper? I ate supper at around three or four, and I shared on my Facebook page that meal that Steve um, made. Okay, so this is what this die looks like after I've die cut it. And now we're gonna attach the happy right on here. So this is what I mean when I say bubble letters, like they're bigger so that they layer together nicely. Um, is there dies to go with what, Linda? I'm wondering what you're asking about dies go with what? Let me know. Um, so I had the, the 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 steak and potatoes thing that Steve made in the crock pot the other day. And can I just say, it's so good. If you didn't go to my Facebook business page, a stamp above.com or a stamp above your creative coach, go there and check out my recipe. 
You throw potatoes and meat and Lipton onion soup mix and something else. Uh, no liquid. It's very weird. Garlic and some, um, I think just garlic maybe. You throw that with stew meat. He bought stew meat. He didn't cut up steak. But you throw it all in a crock pot and you turn it on for like, I don't know, four hours. I didn't make it. He did. But the recipe's on my, on my Facebook page, a stamp above dash your creative coach on Facebook. And you just turn it on and you don't put any liquid in it. You don't do anything. You don't have to brown the meat. He was talking about making this and I'm like, you need to brown that meat. I like my meat browned when you put it in a crock pot because it just gives it better flavor. And he's like, well, I'm not going to do it. I said, well, I'll do it. You tell me when you're ready to make it. I'll brown the meat. He didn't tell me. He did it his, his own way. You know how stubborn some people can be. And it was so good. The meat did not need to be browned at all. It's delightful. And I think it's even something that Haley would eat. And she is really, really picky. Because it's just meat and potatoes and spices. It doesn't have anything weird in it. And then he sauteed some, um, what do they call those mushrooms that he likes? You know, the fancy mushrooms. I don't know what they are. But he sauteed them. And then um, we just put that on. We'd heat it up. Put the mushrooms on and then heat it up. He didn't want to put them in the crock pot because then they boil down to next to nothing, you know, like they cook down and they shrivel up and yeah, it was really good. Um, the word set that I'm using, are there dyes for the word set throughout the year? No, nope. It's just a stamp set all by itself. Okay. So now we have this, we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of it. So let me grab those because we're going to pop this little bait. Oh, I don't know if I like using the big ones on here. Well, too late. Oh, I just pull, I'm going to pull that off because that's going to cause problems for me. <laughs> yeah. Here, we're going to put baby ones on. So let me do that. Somebody said they liked my nails. This was for our lavender event. I wanted to go with lavender. And it was right before, um, right before Valentine's Day when I got them done. So I wanted to go with a valentine. So that's where that cute little heart comes in. And now it's time to get new ones. And I'm just wondering if I need to go do that tomorrow. I really hate getting my nails done. I hate getting my hair cut. I hate getting nails done. It's just such a waste of my life. That's the way I feel about it. Some people are like, oh, I'm going to go get my nails done. It's going to be me time. And I nothing could be further from the truth for me. I hate it. But I'll do it. Okay. So we did that. Now. Next thing we're going to do is, where did all my little deals go? Here they are. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to take this die. And this, again, is from the Hooray for Surprises. This is an interactive little bundle here. Hooray for Surprises. We're going to take this one, and we are going to die cut it on a slice of this ruler. Okay, and I'm going to die cut it just like this on this ruler. So once we do that, this is what we have. And this is the interactive part because this stays attached with tiny little pieces, okay, um, to the layer. But we're actually going to take it out of here because our card is going to do things. So I'm going to grab the little pull so I can stamp that on the end of my pull tab right here. And it says pull. It's kind of hard to see because it's mixing in with the lines from the ruler, but you can see it. Um, the person who gets the card will be able to see that little pull. Okay, we're going to pull this out of there just like that. All right, so we've got that. We've got that. Um, we've got this. Next thing we need to do, you can stamp a bunch of these tools and color them and die cut them. But you can also take the designer series paper and you can just die cut them. So I am going to get a pencil. So I would, let's see, here's a pencil right here. And I'm also going to get a tape measure. I'm going to get a hammer. We've got a hammer right here. We've got a channel lock right here. And I need a pliers. 
If you wanted to, you could use some of these pieces that go off the page and only have them sticking out of the top of what we're gonna do. But I've got a players right over here. And again, you can stamp all of these if you want. Um, not all of them. I should say the players, there's no stamp for that, but there is a stamp for the channel lock. So cut these out with your paper snips and take them, pin them down with some temporary tape. Hang on, I just dropped that die. And die cut them. You don't want them to move on you, so make sure you put that temporary tape on. And I just went through my paper and I die cut a whole bunch of these because I wasn't sure what I was gonna use. So here's all my bits and pieces. I decided to use a tape measure. I'm definitely using a hammer. Here's a saw. Um, I cut these out by hand because there wasn't, or is this a channel lock? No, I can't remember what that's called. Um, you've got some wire cutters. Here's some shears. Here's a screwdriver. Here's my channel lock. I'm pretty sure that's channel lock. And here's my pencil. Uh-oh. Do I not? I don't have my little wrench deal. Hmm. So I do want one of those. I didn't realize that. That's really weird. Okay. So we're gonna do we're gonna die cut one of these with my brand new plates, I might add. So that's kind of exciting. Here's a wrench. Or a yeah. Here we go. I'm gonna take my plate that has one little mark in it. <laughs> right, oh, I got two pencils here. Hang on, I'm gonna put that back in my little envelope so I don't lose it. All right, so. Here's my die for my wrench. And make sure you turn it over so that you have the cutting blade down. Hello, Kelly. I'm just gonna put this on here. And tape it with some temporary tape so it doesn't move. And I'm gonna run this through my machine. Hang on. So crispy, so crispy when it cuts. Okay, let me get this tape off of here. All right, now we can do the rest of the inside of our card. So here's this. This is gonna go right on here, you guys. And I am going to do my hammer under here. I see that my hammer is a little um, a little bigger on this side than I would like it to be. Like there's a lot of white sticking out, so my die must have slid or I didn't have it on there very good. Boom, fix it. <laughs> you can definitely do that, right? So here comes this piece. I'm just gonna place these on here. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this one over here and then my wrench right in the middle. So all I'm gonna do now is just center these right on here. Hang on. There it comes. And we're gonna do this. Steve is outside pruning the top of the pear tree. We have a really old pear tree in our backyard. And oh my gosh, it gives us the most incredible, delightful, giant pears ever. And he came inside and he said, this is the last time I will ever do this. <laughs> He's a little cranky. And I was like, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> in my head, I said that. <laughs> I didn't need to poke the bear at that moment, right? Yeah, whatever, pal. <laughs> he 
He's so funny. He gets all growly berry and I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, now back to seriousness. Now we're gonna do some really cool stuff. So this piece was four and a quarter. Nope, let me start over. Yep, four and a quarter by five and three quarters. And we are gonna do some things to this. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our paper trimmer and we're gonna score it a little bit. Now, the first time I made this card, I learned a lot. I scored both ends of it at three quarters of an inch. Let me see, does this matter? Let's see, let's see what the other side looks like. Nope, doesn't matter which way I go with this. But in scoring both ends of it, it created a problem for me. So I'm only gonna score one end and then we're just gonna fold the other end. And you'll see what I mean when we get there. All right, so this is going to be the front of my card with the interactive piece on it. And what I am going to do here is I'm going to add this happy birthday. So I need to stamp just a tiny bit on here. And let me get this die. Let me put these dies in my bin so I don't lose them. Um, here comes that gray granite ink with the, the nuts and bolts. And I'm going to do that there. And then let's see, I'm going to do another one probably right about here. Another one right over here. And then I was thinking maybe one more like right about there. That looks good to me. All right. Now, this is what we're going to do. Where did my little zingy deal go? Here it is. Okay, so this is where I ran into a little bit of some problems. Because when you die cut this, it becomes very fragile. And what I learned about this is that when I scored this and this and folded it over the front of this, it pulled it a little bit and popped it open. So that wasn't cool, right? So um, I talked to Mary, who is the one who gave me the idea for this card. And what she said is to put a piece of cardstock underneath where you're gonna die cut this and that'll help with not making it do that, okay? The other thing that I did, I wanna make sure that I have this. So it's gonna be up this high and then, yep, okay. Just wanna make sure that this is on here straight. So I brought in a piece of paper and that kind of helps me line this up here, okay? So I am going to take this and I'm going, whoops, I want my pull tab to be on the right side of my card. So hang tight as I go through this one more time. This is getting in my way. <laughs> Did you see how I just threw that out of there like a boss? And I want this to be right about here. God darn it. Okay, hang on. <laughs> it's making me cranky. Nobody likes a Kelly, cranky Kelly. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna go with this, okay. And it needs to be off the ends a little bit, and that's why this is only four and a quarter inches wide. So let me grab my temporary tape. I'm putting it on my clothes. I just pulled off some new stuff so that it's not so sticky, you guys. You don't want this stuff to be super duper sticky because otherwise it'll do funny things. Okay, so this is gonna go here. About this much is gonna come off of here. And once you see what I'm doing here, then you'll understand why I'm kind of keep going back and forth. And I'll show you the one that I made this afternoon because I actually put this up a little too high. And that's why I'm being really picky about it this time. Did I tell you how much I love this glass mat? I know it's not that great for videos, but I this stays on my desk. I stamp with this. I absolutely love it. I love the surface. I love that it cleans off really easy. I just love it. Okay. Um, let me bring this back in here. We'll set that aside. We've got another one like right over here someplace. I'll just set this in here so that's not glaring at you. I'm gonna run this through my machine. Oh. Where did that white piece go? We're gonna leave this white piece under here while we die cut this. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna bring my machine in so you can see exactly what I'm doing because I found that, I found some tips on this. 
I'm definitely going to share them with you. I found that I wanted to run it through this way. Or, yeah, I wanted to run it through this way because my paper fits in there really good, right? But it seems to impress harder when you run it through uh, like this. So I'm going to run it through like this. I hope that makes sense. But it doesn't, just ask me. But it just seemed to work better this way. Because the first one I ran through, it popped right apart. Like it didn't hold the little notches that hold this in place to make it a pull off. It didn't hold. Here we go. All right. Now, you want to be very careful taking off this tape that you don't pull this apart. So I slid my, take your pick tool under there and pulled that off nicely. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Hang on to everything. There we go, okay. This will come right off of here. <gasps> Now, this, we're not gonna do anything with that. That was just to keep things together here. Now, the other thing, I'm gonna see, this is, this is, doesn't have a lot going on there because you would normally just glue this on the front of a card, but we're actually gonna wrap it around. So, what I decided to do, and I'm gonna do it before I even go any further because I don't think it's really going to make that big of a difference. I'm gonna take some tape, and if you don't wanna do this part, you don't have to, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this tape. This card is totally gonna be worth it, ladies. Cause it's pretty darn cool. Me and Mary, we were so excited when she was telling me her idea and I'm like, okay, I think I can do it. I'm just gonna take and have that tape go over that scalloped edge just a tiny bit and nobody's ever gonna notice because this is the inside of the card, okay? All right, so here we go. Now we're gonna score, no, nope, we're not gonna score. We're gonna fold this. So we're gonna fold this, okay. Where's my bone folder? Right here. I think I'm gonna use this other piece of tape too. And again, I've got it mostly on the card and just a tiny bit on those scallops, just to give them a little bit of strength. And now look how much better that is. This is still gonna pull off, everything's gonna be fine. Okay, here comes this part. Before you put that back on here, we're gonna do this. And we're gonna set this in place. This perfectly covers up your pegboard. Okay, so we're gonna put this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this. Just like this. And now when you go to glue, fold this one over, you don't wanna pull it hard. We're gonna hang on to this, push down here, because that'll pull that um, mechanism apart in the front. This does not need to be super snug. And now I'm gonna use my bone folder to fold that good. And we're gonna put some glue on there. Oh my gosh, I hope I have this going the right way. Do I? Yes. I'll tell you a little funny when we get done. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're gonna do this. Okay, now this goes on the back. And this is just gonna get centered right on here. Well, hi, Kelly's Creative Dreams. I'm happy you're here. <laughs> and now we're gonna pop this off. And we're gonna set this right up here. Oh my gosh, I just love this. Okay, wait for it, you guys. The best is yet to come here. Here's our little pencil. And we're just gonna put this right down here. Here's, remember this, we die cut that and here's this. 
So what we're gonna do with this is we are going to glue this right on top of this pull strip. Add some glue. We're gonna line this up. It'll line up perfectly. It's just like putting a puzzle piece in place. And now I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna cut off that little tape measure thing. We are going to add a couple dimensionals right here. See what I did there? And I'm gonna tilt that so it looks like the tape is running out of my tape measure. <laughs> I know, right? And I've got my, I'm holding my breath, hoping that I don't mess this up. <laughs> so Tanya says, everyone is so intently watching. No one is talking. <gasps> I know. It's like, this is like the Olympic game of cards. Not even kidding. <laughs> Here comes some of these fabulous cork rounds, you guys. We're going to put one, how about one right there, one right there. Let's grab another one of these big ones. We'll throw that up here. All right, so here's the Mac Daddy of man birthday cards, okay? They are going to pull this, pull this up. That's going to open. Here's where you're going to write your sentiment. Let me get the one that I gave to Steve so you can see how funny it is. Oh, I said I would show you this other one. This is the one I made earlier today. And you can see that my pull strip is up too high. I should have moved it down. So I'm glad that I was able to remember to do that, right? It's the exact same card. I'm not going to pull that off because I will probably give this to my Uncle Pete because he builds houses. Yeah. And my son-in-law, Lee, he is also a builder. So, But I'm going to show you how this works because I have Steve's card that I um, confiscated from him. So here was his card, exact same card, right? And he, you can either pull it here or you can pick this up and pull it. Now watch what I did. <laughs> I got it upside down. So keep track of the inside. He goes, it's upside down. I expect more from you. <laughs> but anyways, you pull this off the front, right? Pull this off, Shoot. this pulls off, it pops apart. This is what's inside. This is what's on the back. I said 63 will be fabulous. That's how old he is, don't tell anybody. I don't think men care about their age, but anyways, don't put yours upside down, okay? <laughs> Shelby was thinking of Pete and Nathan. Yes, and Nathan too, thanks Shelby. Okay, so there it is, you guys. This is my holy cowabunga. Thank you, Mary, for um, telling me about this idea. She had the idea in her head, and she's like, do this, can we do it? At least I think that's how it went. But anyways, she's the one who said, you should do this, and then it'll pull apart, and you use that. And um, I can't remember if she actually made one or not. Maybe she did. I'm not going to say she didn't, because it was a while ago that I made this. His birthday was January 16th, so that's why I felt like I had to make another one, because I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. But isn't this just the funnest, you guys? Like this, watch me turn it around so it doesn't look like it was upside down. <laughs> this was so fun to make. And again, be careful with this, this part. And I really like adding that little strip of tape on. So I just barely had it going over these scallops so that it barely touched these scallops. And that's really going to give this card a little more strength. Um, I hope you will give this a try. You don't have to do it with the tools. You could do it with something else. But the tape measure and the ruler paper was like the perfect, the perfect storm for this fun interactive card. Now, I told you I would show you another card that I haven't opened yet. And I just got this one from Christine Andrade. And hang on, because I'm going to bring these dies back in here. So this is the Hooray for Surprises. That's where the um, strip die comes from to be able to do this, right? There's also some other ones in here. So this little one right here is a heart, and it has a little pull tab area on it, which is super fun. 
both of these circles have the little pull tab on them also. You can see that here. So I just thought these were the cutest things. And when our mini catalog first came out, this was first on my list because I love stuff like this. We actually used this in our last catalog kickoff. And I think I do have one packet. Oops. One packet left here. I got to get the gems in this one, but one packet from the catalog kickoff, all the make and takes. Um, if anybody's interested in that, I have a list of the three bundles that we used. I know we used this one. We used that cloud bundle, um, the new embossing folder, the floral 3D embossing folder, and something else. I don't remember what else we use. Yeah, this this the stamp set that matches this. But anyways, I have one make and take kickoff party left. If anybody would like that, pop me an email and I'll get you the details on it. Um, I don't even know how much it was. I can't even remember. But anyways, here's the card from Christine Andrade. She sent me a thank you card. And I didn't open it yet because I wanted to do it with you guys. Here's that pull off. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty, Christine. She's got it made into a shaker. Thank you. You inspire me. Isn't that pretty? I love these. I think they're so fun. So um, yeah, she got some happy mail from me. She's on my team and she says um, she, even though work gets in the way of participating in everything I offer my team, being able to participate in some of it has been so much fun. Christine, we are so happy to have your participation. Now, you guys, don't forget, during celebration, by the 29th through the 29th of February, you can get this glass mat for free when you join my team. And it is a super fun place to be. Super duper fun. So, it's only $99. You get this for free. And um, you get me. Like, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes with my team that you guys never know about unless you're on my team. Who's here? Who's watching me tonight that's on my team? Have you ever regretted joining? Let us know. It's so much fun. You will absolutely love it. You have nothing to lose. I will never push you to do anything more than you want to do. You participate in what works for you. I have card challenges. We have a team meeting on Zoom that is live streamed to Facebook. That'll probably be going away pretty soon because Facebook is changing things again, but we'll figure it out. Um, that no matter where you live in the United States, you can participate in the team meeting. We have show and tell. We have demonstrations. I do mystery stamping for my team every month. It is so much fun. Okay, here we go. Here is my next card for one of my builder lovely family members, right? Ah, I love this. Okay. Um, <laughs> my upside downy one. That was fun. Okay. Now I've got all of these going on. Are you guys ready for the next project? Ah, it's not as hard as this one was, I promise. Um, but it's super duper cute and I'm really excited to share it with you. Okay. I'm going to put all this stuff away. I'm going to keep Christine's. Oh, I'm going to keep one of these cards out here. How about two of them? Yeah, let's keep these two out so I can show them at the end. All right, let me get these put away. And we will get on. Oh, this was another envelope flap that I made because I have two cards now. So that's going to be nice, right? I will be set for the next man birthdays in my family. All right, who is ready for a technique that is going to blow your socks off? I'm so excited about this one. You're going to love it. All right, so like I said, I'm using the Excellent Eggs bundle. I am using the uh, polka dotted embossing folder from the Basics 3D embossing folders. You actually get three embossing folders when you order this particular pack. We've got the Baker's Twine 3 Combo Pack. I've got some brushed brass butterflies. I'm also bringing in um, a tag from the Thoughtful Expression Dies, one of the tags that are in here. We've got Flirty Flamingo and Lemon Lolly ink pads, as well as Memento Black. 
a pink marker or Stampin' Blend marker, either one will work just fine. Let me get out my stamps here. Let me put some of this stuff down away from my desk so I have room to breathe. And I will get my dimensions hung up here. And take a drink. Everybody take a drink. It's time for a beverage. Thank you, Kathleen, for the thumbs up and share. Always, always, always appreciate that. Hang on just a second. I got to grab something else. Okay. We are ready to rock and roll. Here comes all of our pieces. Let me set these aside. Keep my butterflies right there. We'll keep these right here. Ah. Oh, I gotta move this. Things are falling. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We have a piece of Lemon Lolly 4x4. Four four. We've got two pieces of Basic White that are both 4x5 and a quarter. I've got my envelope and Flirty Flamingo, 4 and a quarter by 11, scored at 5 and a half. We're also going to need a white scrap. Hang on, where's my, here's my bone folder. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, where those dies go? Right here. We've got them all packaged up so we know what we're using. All right, in the Thoughtful Expressions, and the Thoughtful Expressions, where did my, here's my mini catalog. I'm just gonna open this up because mine are kind of a mess, not gonna lie. Here are the Thoughtful Expressions dies. So you can see all of these like round, labels, they're nesting labels, and then we've got some rectangular rounded end labels, and this flower is in there. We've got some sprigs in there, and then there's some outlines that go with the hummingbird set with some flower images, right? So we're going to use this one and this one from the Thoughtful Expression dies. And we've got our egg, and this egg is the medium-sized egg. There's a small, a medium, and a large. This is the medium-sized egg. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to die cut this out of the middle of the layer, the four by four layer, or I'm sorry, this is, yeah, four by four, that's correct. So we're gonna do that, and when we do that, here's our egg piece. And then we are going to take this egg piece, and we're going to, I like to match it with that line on the front. We're gonna run it through in the polka dotted Basics 3D embossing folder. And when we do that, we're gonna have this. Now you wanna make sure that if you're gonna die cut a layer, you do that first then you do embossing because if we would have embossed this whole layer first and then die cut it, the die cutting will smash your embossing. So don't do that. That's not cool. We are going to next, these two layers, we can, where did them, where did that label? Oh, we're going to um, have a label out of Flirty Flamingo. So that's where this comes from. I've already die cut this label. We're gonna stamp that. I said we needed a scrap of white. We are going to stamp one of these cute tooty little bunnies on here with the memento black. So let's do a little bit of stamping. Here comes our cute tooty little bunny. Oh my gosh, that thing is so cute, isn't it? And then we're gonna stamp the Hello Spring. Now this. I'm making mine an Easter card. Yours can be anything you want it to be, but mine is gonna be Easter. I'm gonna bring this down here so I can see it a little bit better. I'm gonna stamp this over to the left because I am gonna put my bunny on this side and it's gonna take up a little space there. 
All right, we've got that done. We're going to use that little bunny die to die cut our bunny, okay? And hang on just a second. I'll put these back in here. Here comes our little bunny. So that's die cut. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of pink to its little nose and its little ear. And maybe it's tail. Why not? Isn't that cute? Yay! Just a teeny weeny little bit of coloring. Okay. Um, we're going to take that white scrap and we're going to die cut this flower. And I have that right here. So we've got this, this, and our bunny. And next what we're going to do, this is the technique part that's super fun, you guys. Um... Where did my piece go? I'm so excited about it. Now I can't find it. So this is Fun Foam. These are Fun Foam sheets. I got this pack a long time ago, but on my blog, I have a blog post ready to roll. My blog is at www.asampabub. I have a link to a whole pack of these Fun Foam sheets. Um, these are self-adhesive. They have a peel-off back on them. Doesn't matter what color you use. And the link that I have on my blog that will be done after I get these photos done tonight. So when we're done being live, I have to take pictures. I have to load them up. I have my blog post in pretty good shape. Like I've started it. So it shouldn't take me too long. But there's going to be a link on there to Fun Foam. And what I love about this technique is the ability to die cut something that we don't have a stamp for, right? Because there is no, this is called Rick Rack or Chevron. There is no Chevron stamp in the stamp set, but I want a Chevron stamp. So I'm gonna take this die and I am going to make a stamp out of this fun fold. So let me show you how you do this. We're gonna take our die cutting machine we are going to put, this is the peel off backing for the self adhesive. We're gonna put our little piece, our little die on here, and we are going to run this through. Now, I actually looked back on my blog and I last did a technique with Fun Foam back in 2017. Ah, such a long time ago, so fun. Okay, here we go. This cuts out the fun foam. And actually, my backing already came off of here. So let me get this off of here. Okay. I'm just going to set this aside because we actually need two of these. And it's funny that this fun foam, you can see it's like, I don't know. I don't know how wide it is. It's not that wide. But these dies cut this stuff out super nice like there's no no problem Krista wants to know what my cat's names are Kyle and Snooky Kyle and Snooky oh Tish is drinking my favorite Pepsi but I haven't drank that since I went on that big diet to lose weight for Haley's wedding no more Pepsi for me actually I've had Pepsi a couple times and you would think that it would almost make me gag because you know I'm not used to drinking something quite so sugary. It doesn't. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I've had a couple of Pepsis since then, and oh, they're they're like they're like my nectar. Okay, so here's our two pieces. Okay, so what I did is I brought in these two blocks, and again, this is my technique card for the month of February. And to be in my technique club, all you need to do is tell me that you'd like to join. You have to place a minimum $25 each month for a consecutive six months. Each month, I will send you the card that we're making right now and a technique card that shows you exactly how to do the technique. And let's bring that card in. Where did that go? It's right here. Okay. So we are going to take and stamp with these now. One of them is going to be yellow. I should just ink this whole thing up. I didn't ink it all up. 
So here comes one. Yay! And then we are going to bring in Flirty Flamingo. That was Lemon Lolly. This is Flirty Flamingo. I'm gonna bring that in. Yay! Isn't that pretty? And now each person in the Technique Club is going to get a little little thing of the fun foam to show them exactly what we're talking about here. It has some basic instructions on here. And I had planned on doing this video uh, last weekend, but that didn't work out. So the date for the video is always listed on the card, 225-24, so they can go back to my blog and watch a video on this. So they're gonna get this and they're gonna get a copy of the card that we're gonna make right now. So let's do the inside of our card. We're gonna bring in that memento and there's no bunny like you. I'm gonna put that right here. Oh, that's crooked. <laughs> I didn't even give you a chance to look at it. Did you see that? Uh, that's crooked too. Hang on, I'm gonna stand up this time. I'll use those pieces for scraps, don't worry. So much better. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the Happy Easter in the Flirty Flamingo. And I'm gonna stamp that right here, yay. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of that Rick Rack in here. Or Chevron, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna do just a tiny bit there. Tiny bit here. And then a little bit of this. Oops, let me bring that in on the other end. I'm really smashing my ink in here too hard because I've got ink all over my stamp. Oh, look at I just got an edge. I was just going to say, you have to be careful about that. Another thing I treated myself to was a new chamois. Yes, it's almost like my birthday. It's not my birthday, but I feel like it's my birthday. See that yellow ink that I have on here? You have to be careful with that. And the reason why that's a problem is because this fun foam is very thin. It's thinner than our stamp. So we have to um, tap, 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 tap to get the ink to not be smashed all over our um, ink pads. So this would go on the inside. I'll redo this because that's never gonna fly with me. You know that, you know that about me. So the next thing that I'm going to do here is I'm gonna take this white layer and we're gonna put some chevron where the opening is for our egg or rickrack, whatever you wanna call it. So I wanna start right about here. I'm gonna ink this up and I'm gonna to try to tap, tap, tap this time, not squish and grind. I'm like breaking my own rules. And we're gonna start right here, right in the middle. Let's see if I'm brave enough to just keep going here. I'm gonna leave a space for the lemon lolly. This is actually pretty easy to do. I've been pretty successful with just leaving that space in there. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we like this. I do like that a lot. Now you can put as much in there as you want. Our label is gonna go right here. And I think that's gonna work out pretty good. I'm very happy with this. So we are going to adhere this to our card. This would be a fun one to do shaker cards with too, with these eggs, right? With these egg dies. This is gonna go cover up the hole from left to right. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that overrun of that chevron right there. I am going to add some dimensionals. I'm gonna use mini dimensionals on this. And I am going to add 
want these. Just like that, okay? And I want this to straddle my twine that I'm gonna put on here. Um, we can put this right on our card front now. We're gonna wrap that twine all the way around there. So let's get this glued down. I thought this was a really striking card. Like, it makes me happy. It's very cute. And then we're gonna do whew, our twine. And I'll leave enough so I can do a bow here. I don't know what I was trying to do. <laughs> Yep, that looks good. Okay, and usually when I do a bow like this, I'll just tie it in a knot first when I'm using baker's twine, especially if it's nice and thin baker's twine like this is, because then I don't have to try to hang on to it and keep it tight while I am trying to do the loops on the bow. You know what I mean? This is just so much easier to tighten that little beast right up, tie it in a knot, and now I can go about tying a bow without all that hard stuff, right? Try to make it easy. Stamping shouldn't be frustrating. So you try to eliminate all the frustrating parts that might happen, right? All right, here we go. And let's see, um, here comes our label. We're gonna pop this up on dimensionals. And before I put this on, I wanna get this little flower in here. So I think I'm going to lay my flower right there and I will add, I'll add a little dimensional right to the middle. I don't think you have to, but because these dimensionals on this label are going to keep it in place. Let's see. Oops. Let's turn this right side up. Yep. That's what I want to do. Just like that. Now I'm going to bring this in here. And we're going to go center that, oops, Ooh, my flower needs to be a little bit higher. Hang on. Ah. How about like that? We'll see. There we go. Okay, and here comes our bunny. And of course, I'm going to put the bunny on dimensionals too. There's my little bunny right over here. Oh, that bunny looks dirty. I'm gonna have to do something about that. I think I rubbed him in my ink right here. I should have cleaned that off that I have on my glass mat. I love the fact that you can just wash this off, but you also have to remember to wash it off, right? So my bunny's got some little spots on it, but I'll yank that beast off of there. <laughs> Listen to me, I'll yank that beast off of there. Okay, and then we're gonna put, hang on, this is a little crooked and that's gonna make me a little crazy. I want this up a little higher, hang tight. I know, I'm really picky. I'm not really that bad. I'm gonna move it up just a little bit. I want this little bit of yellow to show down here. That's what I'm looking for. Yep, that makes me happy. Okay, <laughs> and then we're gonna do a brass butterfly. Where did those go? Here they are. Brass butterfly, I'll put that away so I don't mess that up. And you can do a little one or a big one. I'm gonna put that right in here. A little bit of bling there. We have an envelope that we need to decorate. Hang on just a second. Now we're gonna use this particular egg 
and we're going to go in the flirty flamingo and I'm going to stamp that right over here. Isn't that a cute little design? You could color that if you stamped it in black or whatever. Then I'm going to grab my memento and my envelope is going to be decorated with hello spring right on that little egg. Here is our card, and this is the original that I made, and here's the inside without my edge. <laughs> so, isn't that cute? So when you join my Technique Club, <clears throat> you're required to place a minimum $25 order every month. This is what you're going to get as a member for February. You're gonna get the card, and you're gonna get the Technique Sheet. So after a little while, you have a whole bunch of those. And let me grab just a few of my most recent ones. Here was January. This was shadow stamping. So here's the technique. Here's the card that everybody got. So they got both of these. And then in December, I did the kissing technique on that little pickup truck. So everybody got this instruction sheet and the technique on the card. Oh, I think this, yeah, the, yeah, that's right. This is the right one. So everybody got this card and this instruction sheet. So after a while, you have all of these. I like to keep them in a clear stamp case. And you can refer back to them when you sit down to stamp and go, how do you do that shadow stamping again? Or how did she do that technique with the kissing? So yeah, these are really, really handy. And at the end of the six months, the consecutive six months, you get a $30 product credit from me. So if you're interested in that, the link is right below this video. And I oftentimes have people asking me, well, I'm already a demonstrator. How would that work? It works no different for you than it would for anybody else. You'll place a $25 order in my online store and you use the host code and you will get the same thing that anybody else would get. And I do welcome other demonstrators. Some people are orphans. They don't have um, an upline or they're direct stamping up. You don't have a team leader or maybe your team leader isn't as active or doesn't do techniques or whatever the case may be. Everybody's welcome. I do not discriminate. Okay, so when you're done with these, you can just peel this right off your block and away you go. Um, you can leave these on here and reuse them. I will have to say that because this is fun foam, it is not a high quality product. Um, so if you make uh, 30 of these cards, you'll probably have to replace this because it will get so smashed down that it'll be hard to ink up. So just that little tip too. But it is super fun to do things with dyes that we don't have stamps for. And that's mainly, well, that's pretty much all I use it for. We used to have this really pretty um, butterfly bundle. I'm sorry, dragonfly bundle. And it had a bunch of dragonflies that were all connected in a die, but that wasn't a stamp in the stamp set. And I used that to create a stamp out of all of these dragonflies that were all connected, interconnected. So super, super fun technique. And I love this one. I love this bundle, you guys. It's been super fun for me. And here, if you came in late, this is the interactive card that we made using the trusty tools. And this is really fun because it has a little tear off tab on the front and you tear this off to open up, right side up, the inside. So it's an interactive card that you have to tear off. And I, this was the one I made for Steve. And when he opened it, it was upside down. <laughs> so yeah. So anyways, this is really fun. Um, Celebration, this designer series paper is free with your $50 order. And now I told you guys, um, I have a little bit of mail to share, but I also really want to share with you all the celebration swaps that I have that I haven't shown you yet. So if you have a little bit of time, buckle up. <laughs> we're going to uh, we're going to share a whole bunch of cards. I thought that would be fun tonight. What time is it? Oh, my watch is almost dead. It's 840. Well, I'm going to do it. We're going to do it. And if you have to go because it's getting late for you, I totally understand. 
You can come back tomorrow and catch the end of this. You know, you can fast forward after my live is done. But don't forget, this is free with your $50. You can't get this after Thursday, the 29th of February, 2024. So definitely would hit this up. Um, stock up on some cardstock, some envelopes, you know, buy some of those staples that you use all the time. Okay, so here's another little interactive card. This is from Sally Mullins, and she wrote me a really nice note. Um, I, she was the winner of the gift card boxes. She said she was so excited to be a winner. And here's the card that she sent me. Now it's got a little note on it that says, pull off and smell the coffee. First, we're gonna look inside. This is a brand new bundle. It's called Latte Love. This is coming out on March 1st, I believe. It is one of our online exclusives. So um, this comes from a stamp set that we already have in the uh, big catalog. Ready? Look at this. The rest of this is Latte Love. Isn't that cool? Ah, Sally, this is the bomb, girl. I love this. I love this. I love how she made the coffee liquidy. Now, these are the new embellishments, too, that are part of this little collection, the coffee lat Latte Love. Um, this little belly band, it says pull off and smell the coffee. So, are you ready? I think this part. Oh, maybe it's just that. No, it's. I think it's. Nope. I don't know. Sally, am I ruining it? You have to tell me. I don't think this comes off. It says pull off and smell the coffee. I hope I'm not destroying this. I think I am. Oh, I do smell coffee. Oh, maybe I'm just supposed to pull this off and smell the coffee. You guys, it smells like coffee. <gasps> I love this Sam set. I love this Sam set so much. It's got paper. It's got embellishments. It's got the dyes and the Sam set. It is so, so cool. That smells really good. I don't really like coffee, but I love coffee stamp sets. And I really want to be a big girl and drink coffee, but I do like the smell. Oh, that is so cool. Thank you. Thank you for this, Sally. This was adorable. So that's one piece of mail that I got this week. And then here's another one. This is from one of my team members, Diana Labs. Look at this, what she did with the dog set. She colored in several of the little things and all their tongues, which I thought was really cute. This is the dog on friendly. Isn't that fun? Yeah, I thought that was really cute. And then she had this birthday card. She wanted to share the layout with me. And I love this. This is like a white panel right here. And then three strips of designer paper. Isn't that cool? Like I thought that was really a neat layout. Very, very pretty. Diana, thank you very much. And then Marlene says, can I place a $150 order and join now? Do you want to join my team or do you want to join the Technique Club? You let me know, Marlene, because yes, you can join now. I have not mailed these out yet for the February. Um, and I, you email me and tell me you're joining because I will um, send you all the details. There's an email that I send you with the rewards form link and all the details. So, oh, Sally's on here. Sally, yay. Sally says she mixed the ink and some coffee essential oil on a block and used it as a stamp pad. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm glad I didn't destroy your card. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, it smells really, really good. Like really, really good. Thank you so much. Um, Kathy Galley sent me this card. Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. I love this paper. I just love it. This is a thank you card. She ordered a bow jig and she says she has a friend who wants one and she knows she will love it. She was amazed at how quickly I sent it. Uh, yes, if I, if I am in my office, I try to get things out of here as soon as possible. And let's be real, I'm in here most of the time. It's kind of my life. <laughs> okay, this is my beautiful mail that I got this week. And... 
Now I've got all these cards to share with you. So I've got a bucket. We're not gonna take a lot of time with this because you can go back and fast forward the video to where we're doing this and stop it if you wanna get some screenshots or something. First of all, Celebration, the watercolor melon stamp set. I want to share all these swap cards that I have gotten. So are you guys ready? I'm just gonna lay them down here. Let's see, is there anything? Oh yeah, there's lots of stuff on the inside. Look at, so pretty, so pretty. Here's another beautiful one. I love the Wink of Stella on that slice, right? So pretty. Another great one. I really love this watermelon set. I have to say that I think it was probably one of the most popular celebration selections. Here's another one. Absolutely gorgeous. And another one. Ooh, so pretty. She's got three different embossing folders here, and they're kind of skewered like that. This is one of our distinctive stamps, so it looks real, and I love that. Look how bright and colorful this one is. Uses the postage dies, and this matches our um, oval die. Our Oh, what's that called? What is that die called? Hang on. I gotta look for it. Um, here it is. The watermelon matches the modern oval punch. So yeah, makes it super easy, super easy. Um, here's an envelope that I believe I stamped up. Look how pretty that is. Okay, I gotta go a little faster because I know you guys probably gotta go. Here's the card that Sherry Pyre made that's a rocker, right? Look at how cute that is. I did that for one of my classes. My card kit, actually, look how pretty this is with the black and white paper. Let me see if I can figure this out. Oh, it opens like this. Look at that. This is also um, a celebration stamp set. It's a sentiment set. We'll get to it. Super, super pretty. Here comes another one. This I made. This was one of my free card kits. Isn't that pretty? Watercolor background on it. I love this watermelon. Here's another one that was part of my card kit. Super, super pretty. Look in here. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? And then this one. I think that's the last one that I have. Look at that. This is our little alphabet set. Thanks, a melon. Love it. Okay, there's our watermelon. And then, gosh, you guys, this paper called the Sunny Days. Let me grab it right here. That paper is so pretty, and I used it for a ton of cards, but when I was looking through all my cards that I have, I mostly use it in private classes, and I can't show those to the general public because they're private classes. But I had so much fun with this paper. This was part of our catalog kickoff, this paper. So I only have a few things to share with you, Look at how pretty this is. Love that. Um, this was also these two cards that are part of my current card kit with your $35 order. That's where that paper is coming from is the sunny days. So that's where that's coming from. And here is another one. And all the rest of the cards that I had with the paper are all in private classes. So sorry about that. But yeah, these are really, really pretty. Okay. And then we have the Flight and Airy Designer Series paper. Again, free with a $50 order. The beautiful floral and birds. Oh, so pretty. Watercolor birds. Gorgeous. All right, let me grab all of these. Here we go. Here is this one. Isn't that pretty? Some of these are swaps. Some of these are cards that people sent to me. Oh, this one does something. Ready? Some of these are from my team. Look at that bird. Isn't he just beautiful? Now watch this. Yeah, this one moves. Isn't that fun? Yeah. That was from Sherry Pyre. This is one that I designed. This was a fun fold that I made for a swap. Super easy. All this beautiful, beautiful designer series paper. Oh, so pretty, right? 
so pretty. I love this. And we use this paper a lot in the private classes too, you guys. Now I've got one card here that uses this for the baby. Look at how this this is this one right here, the cradled in love. Free with the $50 order. How stinking cute is that? You could do this in blue or pink. And this one's in blue and pink, but this would be perfect for baby cards. Okay. Next up, we have our softly stippled designer series paper. That is this paper. This was just used. We actually included this in our lavender class. And there was a whole set of cards in a gift box designed around this. Free with the $50 order. Remember this card? This background is the softly stippled, right? Here comes another one. Again, softly stippled. This is the word set that we're coming to shortly here. Super, super cute. Here's another great layout. This is a really pretty card. Here's another one. This is a swap card. I think this is one of my team members made this. Look at this one. This is all this softly stippled paper. Love this. Here's some more softly stippled. And then this is the, um, um, we'll get to the embossing folder. I can't think of the name of it, but it's coming. And here's some more softly stippled paper. Isn't this pretty? This is one of those sets in the mini catalog. Beautiful. Here's the actual softly stippled stamp set, which is a bunch of rose images. That beautiful floral embossing folder, pretty. Here's some more softly stippled. Isn't that just gorgeous? How easy is that? It's a super easy card, love that layout. And here's another one that uses that word set. Okay, hang on. I am going to pop that over there. That was my card. Next up is the most adored 12 by 12 paper. Mm, so pretty. And it's beautiful for Valentine's Day, but it can be used for so much more. Free with a $50 order. I've got a lot of these. I did a card kit with this one. Here is one of my card kits. It's a little gift card holder. Gift card sticks right in here. So that was really pretty. This was part of my card kit. Again, this is the most adored paper. Most adored paper. So pretty. Keep my envelope with that. Here's another one. Same paper. Isn't that cute? the paper and this is actually this card does this isn't that crazy i'm gonna set this aside because she gave me the directions for this this was a swap card so i'm gonna see what i can do i want to check that out here is another one with the most adored paper uses it twice on here and here's that um stamp set that's gonna be in here shortly. Here's the paper again. Was there anything on the inside here? No. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next page. Oh, don't forget these embellishments here. They were easy to miss. Those are free with the $50 opaque faceted gems. Okay, now we have the heartfelt hello, and that's where I'm talking about these sentiments that are on these, some of these cards are coming from that particular stamp set. Here's another one. The hello is from the heartfelt hellos, free with the $50 order. So next up, we have some more trusty tool paper. The paper's free with the $50 order. Here is a really cute card. Isn't it? I love the paintbrush with the paint on the end. That's a stamp. Makes it super easy. Here's another one. This one was really cute. Feels like there's something inside. There is. And again, these are swaps from team members, swaps from swaps that I entered. Get that triple time stamping. 
<gasps> Remember this one? It's got the crown on it. This is a girl tool card. And this was from Marlene Murphy. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Look at that. Yay. And then here's another one. This was a really fun idea. Look at this. That's really cool. I like that layout a lot. Super cool. Okay, so that was the trusty toolbox. And then we have the Jungle Pals. I've only got a couple cards with the Jungle Pals, but we did use these in some of my private classes. Here's that sloth. Here's that hello word from the heartfelt hello stamp set. And here is that sloth again. So you get $50 free with a $50 order for the stamp set. Free with a $100 order, you get the dies. And that's where these vines and this little tree is coming from. And again, the softly stippled paper here. Mm, love it. And then next up, <gasps> softly sophisticated. That's the name of the embossing folder. And I have a whole bunch of these. Boy, I've made quite a mess here tonight. Okay, look at how pretty that is. This is from Ginny Mullins. She's on my team. This is embossed vellum, you guys, with that softly sophisticated bundle. This Get the stamp set and the embossing folder free with a $100 order. Look at this. This is a linen paper technique using tissue paper. This was from my team swap. Here's another beauty. Love that folder, stamp set, softly sophisticated. I like how sharp this one is. It's just very crisp and sharp, as well as this one. Look at that. A little bit of white under there popping, making that color pop. Gorgeous. Here's one where she actually stamped and then embossed this layer, and that's pretty cool looking too, right? I like this one. I like the way she used those hexagon punches for her layers. This is the designer paper. This is the softly stippled right here, the softly stippled paper embossed with the softly sophisticated embossing folder. Isn't that pretty? And then here's another one that I made. You saw this with the bird set. Now this uses the softly sophisticated, sophisticated stamp set. And then I use that folder down just the edge of my inside layer. Next up is the dogwood. This is the detailed dogwoods. This is free with a $100 order. And I didn't get many of these samples, but look at this beauty. This is from one of my team members. I don't have her slip in here anymore. But look at how pretty that is. Detailed dogwood, free with a $100 order. Absolutely gorgeous. This is a card that I made. I had planned on doing a video for it, but I ran out of time, you guys. Let me get the other one out. Here's another one. You can see that dogwood in the background. I stamped a little bit on here, and then the heartfelt hellos is what I used for the sentiment with the hexagon. I think this is, yeah, these are the same cards. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty, 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 right? I love all of these cards. I just wanted to share with you all of these ideas because um, I try to keep them and use them. That's why I swap, right? Hang on, I'm going to pull you down. That's why I do swapping is to get good ideas. <clears throat> I love doing swaps. As a matter of fact, we are going to Houston. Uh, let's see. What's today? The 25th? I'm leaving for Houston on the 13th. It is our on stage event for Stampin' Up! And I'm really looking forward to that. I've already joined a couple swaps. One of them is a fun fold swap. What? Yeah, so that's where I get a lot of my ideas for making my cards is swapping. And my team does a um, swap every month. As a matter of fact, our swap for April is... Um, shadow box sampler swap so everybody's going to make little squares to create a shadow box so you're going to you're going to make wh however many is in the swap if there's 10 in the swap you're going to make 10 of whatever you design 10 of the same thing 
And then we send them off to Priscilla. She's on my team. She's my swap boss. Send them off to her, and then she swaps them all out, and you're going to get 10 different squares back for however many people are participating. So we're going to do a set sampler or a shadow box sampler swap in April. Join my team. I'm telling you, it is the best, the best. You will love it. You have nothing to lose. You can get a free glass mat by... Um, February 29th is the deadline for that, or you can get an extra $30 to spend in your starter kit. It only costs $99, and you get to choose $125 if you get the glass mat, or $155 if you don't get the glass mat. Any product that you want, you're going to love it. You get me until the end of July without any further obligation. Jump in, try it out. If you don't like it, you still have all that product that you got a super good deal on. And if you do like it, which I'm sure you will, then you're going to have something new in your life, right? We always need more happy. This is a very happy place. All right, guys, I will be live again on March 3rd. What? Yeah. Oh, I think the new online exclusives go live on March 4th. I will be live again on March 3rd, and I will probably be using something from the new online exclusives. We have some super cute stuff coming out. I'm very excited. If you guys have any questions, if you need anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. Links for the Trusty Toolbox online class are in the video description below this video, as well as something else that I put in there. What else did I put in there? Hang on, let me look. Um, Trusty Toolbox... Oh, and my free card kit, the cards that you get in the kit and what you need to do to get the things, the free card kit. That link is also in there. My blog post will be up as soon as I can get it done. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you, Jackie. Um, thank you for the reminder. Please give me a thumbs up and share my video. That'll enter you in drawings for prizes. Becky says, thank you so much for a fun night. You guys are so gracious. And I'm so happy to have you here. I am just humbled that you guys spend your Sunday nights with me. So thank you for joining me tonight. Have yourselves a great week. I will be back next Sunday, March 3rd, 7 p.m. Central Time. Same place, same. I was going to say bat something, but I lost it. So anyways, <laughs> have a great week, you guys. Bye-bye.